Hi, Gemini. This is your Just Cause reading for April 2022. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for April 2022. In love. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for April 2022 in love universal energies show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for April 2022 in love show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals so gemini Gemini, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Gemini, this is you. This is your partner. So, Gemini, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For April 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Gemini, is the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you, agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together, or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So listen, Gemini, you know, someone could be physically moving or traveling here. You know, someone could tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or someone is saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Clarify the Six of Swords for Gemini and their part. <sighs> Clarify the Six of Swords for Gemini and their partner. Clarify the Six of Swords for Gemini and their partner. Clarify the Six of Swords for Gemini and their partner. I'm laughing because I'm just, it's hard for me to handle such little cards, little deck. I can, Listen, it is clarified with the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. So Gemini, listen, could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now, this can be about nurturing the relationship, but it could also be about your abundance. Clarify the Empress for Gemini and their partner. Clarify the Empress for Gemini and their partner. Clarify the Empress for Gemini and their partner. It is clarified with the page of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the page of pentacles for Gemini and their partner. Clarify the page of pentacles for Gemini and their partner. Clarify the page of pentacles for Gemini and their partner. It is clarified with the tower. 
The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So listen, Gemini, maybe a shocking surprise here. Very well could be a shocking revelation. Something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Gemini and their partner. Clarify the tower for Gemini and their partner. Clarify the tower for Gemini and their partner. It is clarified with the nine of principles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Gemini, we will see. The cards will tell me. But... Listen, was there a shocking surprise here? Because anytime I do readings and we have the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles, this is about that big money, honey. Some type of news about big money, honey. Now, is it that someone is leaving or traveling here because they got this big money? Is it that now let's just put whatever we were going through behind us now that we have this big money? Or is someone trying to just move out, move on, and move away from the relationship because they have this big money? However, let's get away from money. Because it could also be some news about maybe support for children here. And it's causing a breakup. And someone is wanting to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. We'll see. Listen, Gemini, you have death. You have the Eight of Pentacles. You have the Two of Cups. Your partner has the Seven of Pentacles. Your partner has the Chariot. Where the hell are you going with this money, boy? Listen, <laughs> your partner has Temperance. Hey, so, Gemini... The mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' minds, I'm going to let these cards speak, but it looks like somebody's coming into some big money here. This is the news, and it's a shocker. Now, either we're going to put it behind us, and we don't even care about the little things that we were bickering about, or someone is trying to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. You know, and is it some type of maybe support for children here? <laughs> somebody's still trying to leave. Listen, we'll have to see. We have to see. Listen, Gemini, you have death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. But death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. So listen, Gemini, could be dealing with a Scorpio. Now, you can tell me that something is ending, a breakup here in single. You can tell me something is starting new after an ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Gemini. Clarify death for Gemini. Clarify death for Gemini. It is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment. But this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So listen, Gemini, you know, you can tell me that you're numb out, you know, trying to numb out here, overindulging because it's ending. You can tell me that you're getting your wish here that you guys are starting new after ending or some type of change has happened. Some type of shocking surprise that changes everything that's happened. You may be getting your wish here. We'll see. Gemini, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Gemini, listen, you can tell me that, hey, this is all dealing with work or business and your abundance here. However, you can tell me you're planning something, working on something, or you're willing to work on this and put in the work with this partner Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Gemini. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance. But this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Gemini, listen, you can tell me that something is off balance here. You can tell me something is all balanced with the giving and receiving. You can tell me that you may be getting some type of payout from work here. Or you guys are working on some type of payout or something is coming in here. 
You could also tell me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two, and it could be with someone that they work with or do business with. Listen, Gemini, you have the lovers. So this, not the lovers, this is, really? You have the two of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So listen, Gemini. You can tell me that this person is your soulmate, yes, but this can also be some type of agreement here because I see something with the coins. Clarify the two of cups for Gemini. Clarify the two of cups for Gemini. Clarify the two of cups for Gemini. It is clarified with the wheel of fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Well, this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So, Gemini, listen, you can tell me that everything has changed between you guys. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Gemini. Clarify the wheel of fortune. For Gemini, clarify the wheel of fortune. For Gemini, it is clarified with the five of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regrets, hurts, crying on the inside over all the time that was spilled out, all the effort and energy that was spilled out, all the love that was spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things panned out in the relationship. So Gemini, listen, you can tell me that everything has changed between you and this soulmate of yours and you're hurt, you're disappointed, you're let down, you're mourning here. But let me see, because this actual change in your luck and fortune could affect your relationship. And maybe you're going to end up feeling remorse and regret that it affects the relationship, but I don't know. Why do I feel like something is coming in here? Somebody's getting some money, honey. Listen. And maybe, maybe you're even trying to work it out with them by giving them something. We'll see. Listen, it just depends, okay? Because you can tell me you're hurt. I don't know. Maybe you were supposed to receive something from them and you're hurt. It just didn't work out the way it was supposed to and you're hurt. So at this point, you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. But maybe you're feeling remorse and regret here because this change in your luck and fortune affected you guys' as a relationship. And you want to change this. So you may be wanting to work things out by giving them something here. So maybe you want to put it behind you and move away to a place of peace and harmony together. I feel like it's some type of abundance here. I feel like it's some type of news about practicality here. I feel like it's a shocking surprise, but it's also causing a breakup. Yes, someone is abundant, but now we're single. I feel like this money is coming between us. Listen, Gemini, your partner has a seven of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner waiting. And in this wait, they're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. They're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not they want to continue to invest, whether they want to reinvest. They're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of your partner looking at their coins, their harvest their bank account looking at how much they have and how much they have to invest could be waiting on money so listen gemini your partner could be waiting on money they could be looking at their coins looking at their bank account your partner could be waiting on you for whatever reason your partner could tell me that they're waiting contemplating and debating on whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship clarify the seven of pentacles for gemini's partner clarify the seven of pentacles for gemini's partner Clarify the seven of pentacles for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the six of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your partner's attention or they're beginning to recognize something or they're getting attention and recognition. <sighs> Just reading here, boy. Listen. 
Is it that your partner is getting victory and success here? Awards and the accolades and the, the money is piling up in the bank account? Is this, is this about them having the money? Is it that your partner is saying that they're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship because something was brought to their attention they began to recognize something here? But is it that they're over there waiting on coins from you because it was brought to their attention that you have the coins. Your partner has a chariot. Could be dealing with a cancer, but your partner is determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But your partner is determined to move forward confidently. So, Gemini, I could be dealing with a cancer, but your partner is wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Gemini's partner. Clarify the chariot for Gemini's partner. Clarify the chariot for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with here. Clarify the emperor for Gemini's partner. Clarify the emperor for Gemini's partner. Clarify the emperor for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting their wish, being divinely guided, following their destiny. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so Gemini, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. And yes, your partner could tell me that they're getting their wish. They're following their destiny. Your partner could tell me that they need to heal individually on their own or they're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. But the star is also a travel card, and so is the chariot, and so is the six of swords. Clarify the star. Clarify the star for Gemini's partner. Clarify the star for Gemini's partner. Clarify the star for Gemini's partner. Eight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel, but this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So listen. <laughs> Gemini, your partner can tell me that something is happening quickly here with the chariot. That's NASCAR fast, and this freaking is fast for your ass, like some type of travel here. However, your partner can tell me that you guys got into a heated discussion or argument, but is it some type of travel taking place here? Your partner has temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the universe is cautioning your partner to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that they make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So listen, Gemini, I could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Your partner could tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. Your partner could tell me that they're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Could be something going on with the compromise and negotiations here. Also a need for your partner to be patient. Clarify temperance. A Gemini's partner. Clarified temperance. I can't even shuffle. Clarified temperance. A Gemini's partner. Clarified temperance. A Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development, and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but listen, your partner could tell me that they're happy. However, your partner can tell me that something was illuminated, something came to light. 
clarify the sun for Gemini's partner. Clarify the sun for Gemini's partner. Clarify the sun for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with you, Gemini, the lovers. The lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Gemini, this is you. Clarify the lovers for Gemini's partner. Clarify the lovers for Gemini's partner. What does Gemini's partner think of Gemini? What does Gemini's partner think of Gemini? Clarify the lovers for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. Okay, so before I say anything about that, let me just clarify. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Gemini's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Gemini's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Gemini's partner. Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve them. This is your partner detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve them. You know, <clears throat> Gemini. So just listen. Okay. <laughs> just listen. Let me just walk you through it, okay? Let's just start over here. There's some type of compromise and negotiations going on, but okay. Listen. On two fronts. There's some type of compromise and negotiations going on on two fronts with your partner and some type of work situation here, but also you, okay? I feel like, yes, your partner is happy. I feel like even though the lovers is you, this can be a partnership with work or business here. Something is going on here where your partner is having to take off fast. And I have to say take off fast for the ass because that's all that is right here. They're taking off fast for this emperor, for this work or business here, okay? <clears throat> So I feel like your partner is getting success and awards and abundance and money and all of this, but it requires some type of travel. However, comma, I feel like this change in luck and fortune is coming between you guys' relationship here. I feel like you feel like this work situation will cause an imbalance in you guys' relationship. So I don't feel like this is like a payout of you paying them or them paying you or them giving you, you know, and they very well could be trying to work things out and try to get you to understand that they have to travel. But I feel like it is ending. I feel like something is coming between you guys' relationship. And I feel like it's a payout of money or abundance for your partner. And the fact that they have to leave so fast. It's not your wish. I feel like you're trying to numb out. You're hurt. You're mourning. You're trying to numb out here. Listen, Gemini, I feel like your partner has to travel. And I feel like it's about their abundance sake. They just got some news concerning this money, this work with this freaking emperor. And yes, it's a shocking surprise for them. And it's a lot of freaking money. And you would do it too. But it may cause a breakup with you guys and become single. Gemini, this is your Just Cause reading for April 2022. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.